Hello, I'm Dorothy May, and I've written some tutorials on how to play the dulcimer. And I see a need for a video tutorial that goes with the books. So this is the very first one that tells you about the kinds of instruments you might have and with specific attention to the pegs. So I'd like to show you my oldest dulcimer. It's hand, it was all handmade. And the pegs are hand carved. These are friction pegs. And you tighten the string, and it will raise the pitch. They can be kind of temperamental. And then you loosen it by turning the peg the other way. Really a very simple mechanism, but they can be temperamental. I have another dulcimer that has friction pegs. This is also fairly old. And these are standard violin pegs. One of them broke some years back, and I went to a violin shop and got actually a viola peg that worked about the right size. I still had to whittle it down. But uh, again, you uh, just turn the peg. And they're kind of tight right now. But once you, you turn these to where they should be, they hold pretty well because I have rubbed the pegs with a combination of uh, chalk and pencil graphite. The chalk makes them stick. The pencil graphite makes them gives them some lubrication. You don't need to spend a lot of money on anything else to keep your friction pegs working. Now, this is a newer one, and it has the mechanical pegs. And mechanical pegs have pretty much taken over the market. They're pretty easy to maintain. They uh, turn easily, and they hold easily. These are uh, turning it on this side counterintuitively <laughs> brings it up. And there I'm loosening it. On the other side, it's just the because all the pegs are actually the same kind. So the ones on this side, you would turn in the opposite direction uh, with regard to the fingerboard in order to tighten or loosen. But a little practice, and you'd get the idea. And finally, this is a, quite a new instrument. And uh, these are called satellite pegs. They have ball bearings in them. They're really, really nice when they work. Sometimes the ball bearings fail, and you might have to replace the pegs. They're not cheap, but when they work, they are wonderful. You can get a really fine tuning. Know which peg hits which string. I'll use the middle middle one. Don't have to turn it very much. And I hope that that tells you what you need to know about pegs. If you have anything different, you can email me or send a message um, on this little forum and hopefully I can help you.